Governor Yahya Bell of Kogi State arrives at the Muhammad Buhari Square in Lokoja to flag up the distribution of rice and cash to residents of Kogi State. The distribution is part of the palliatives to cushion the effect of fuel subsidy removal on Kogi residents. In attendance are top government functionary, the APC governorship candidate, Usman Ododo, and the representatives from the 21 local government areas in the state. In his opening remarks, the State Commissioner of Finance speaks on the modality of distribution across the 21 local government areas of the state. As we welcome the distribution of these palliatives, let us remember that our actions have the power to alleviate the burden faced by those most affected. Let us extend our hands of compassion and support to our fellow citizens and ensuring that no one is left behind in this period of transition. The state governor wants against hoarding and discrimination in the cost of the distribution. The total of what we are distributing today, both in cash and in food items, are in excess of 2 billion naira. And this is to target all households in Kogi State. That's why we have decided to decentralize the distribution of these food items and cash to be able to reach every household. Aside from the distribution flag off, the governor also declares free education for primary and secondary schools in the state, assuring parents that the government will henceforth be responsible for the payment of WIAC, NECO, and JAM fees for the final year students in secondary schools. Primary school from primary one to primary six, GSS one to GSS three, SS1 to SS3 are having free tuition for all of our pupils. At least this will lift the burden of school fees from you. The distribution of palliatives and the free education from the state government are some of the recent efforts of government to cushion the effects of fuel subsidy removal on the citizens.